Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how I breed Mexican Dwarf Crayfish. I'll put my water parameters on the screen and in the description for you guys, but this species is generally pretty hardy and can handle a wide range of parameters. By the way, I'm keeping them at around 22 degrees Celsius, but I found a paper that says they actually breed more frequently at lower temperatures closer to 18 degrees Celsius. Okay, the first thing you need is to make sure you have both males and females. Males have two appendages pointing upwards behind their legs, these are called claspers. Females have what is known as a seminal receptacle, and it basically looks like a tiny circle in the same place the males have the claspers. For this video, I have two females and one male. I've been growing these guys out for a couple of months and they should be getting to around the breeding age at this point. I put them all into this heavily planted 5 gallon and started feeding them frequently and doing water changes more frequently. I wasn't able to catch a good video of the mating ritual, but essentially the male will flip the female over and deposit the sperm into the seminal receptacles. This happened in the aquarium at some point because around 3 weeks later, both females were holding eggs. Once I confirmed that both females were holding eggs, I pulled the male out so he would not continue to annoy the females and stress them out. The eggs take around a month to hatch and I kept the females well fed during this time. I was also advised to put in a piece of cuddle bone for the females to chew on. The cuddle bone gives them a calcium boost and helps make the baby's first few molts easier. The females will continuously fan their eggs to push fresh water and oxygen through them. This is what the eggs look like on week 2. Crayfish are scavengers and will eat anything you give them. I use a few different shrimp pellets and bug bite pellets, but I also give them frozen food like brine shrimp or bloodworms. At the beginning of week 3, I no longer saw the eggs on one of the females. I'm not sure if they hatched early and swam away, or if they didn't make it, but since she no longer had eggs, I pulled her out. The other female still had her eggs. This is what the eggs look like on week 4. Those tiny black spots you see are their eyes. At this point I was watching the aquarium a lot more closely. By the end of the week, the babies were still attached to their mom, but now I could see them moving around. A few days later, the babies were no longer attached to their mom, so I pulled her out. I pulled all the adults out to increase the survival rate of the babies as the adults may eat their own babies. I was expecting to not see the babies for a couple of days because they're very small and there's a lot of plants for them to hide in. But as I was pulling the female out, a baby crayfish swam into the net. Once the female was out, I began feeding the aquarium with smaller powdered food so that the babies had plenty of food to find. 
I used the fry starter from New Life Spectrum and I used the shrimp baby by Glass Garten. These are the babies at day 3 shot under a macro lens. They are a lot more bold now and constantly scavenging for food. Here's the babies that are around 1 week old. And in this clip you can see one of the babies grazing on the cuddle bone. Until they're about 1 month old, the baby crayfish will molt around 3-4 to four times a week. From here on, raising the babies can be done exactly like the parents. In around another month and a lot more molts, the babies will start showing their orange color. Okay, that's it for this video. If you have any questions on breeding crayfish, leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for future breeding videos. Thank you for watching.